Hey, hey, you guys. I don't know if y'all can see that, but y'all see what exactly what it is, baby. What's up, you guys? This is your girl, Queen 318 Red. We just came to the Diva House of Queens TV, and we are back with another one. And God is good all the time. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. And praise the most high for putting me in a position that's going to better myself. And others around me. And people that's not even around me. But put me in a better position. In a better space. In a better head space. Because. Um, like I said. I, um, I went through some. Toxic. Hostile situation. In my workplace. And. Um, I'm still trying to wait. On the decision. On what they're going to do. And so then, meantime, between the time, I'm still working on my YouTube channel. And then, like um, I said, my candle business is going to flourish. And so, when we see bad news, God always looking out for his children. And what did I do today? I checked my, I'm sitting right here checking my emails. And what did it pop up? It said that you had went to the fine, you had went to um the next round. Congratulations. I'm like, yay, that's what's up. Okay, y'all see that it says that you are in fifth place in the group. Out of hundreds, even thousands of people that participated and showed up and showed out to even participate in this contest to be on this television show. Like I said, thousands, hundreds, whatever. Multiple people that applied and got accepted your girl is currently in fifth place. The top five. The top freaking five. I am so thankful. I am so grateful that I can share this blessing with House of Queens TV. And not even just House of Queens TV. For any and everyone that watches my channel. Because it's just you guys. You guys did it. God did it the most, but it's also you guys. Like I said, I was feeling down today. And I had a talk with my sister, with my mother, with a counselor on the situation that is happening with my job. And I mean, I was very, very down because when, like I was telling them, I was saying that when I know for a fact that I didn't do nothing, I didn't say nothing first it was brought upon me that's when it really bothers me but when, if I would like to nick pick or talk trash to someone first and, and constantly do it like just go at them full throttle, if I did it first it wouldn't really bother me because of the, of, of the individual but for someone to come at me and to taunt me and to do something towards me and I knew for a fact that I only reacted I gave you a reaction because you was doing something to me and you want to play victim it bothers me and I cannot stand a weak ass bitch like that but this is through all the darkness, through all the fog, throughout every tainted and toxic karmic person, there is a God. And he said that you are still favored. You are still loved. Even though that the devil is trying to come up against you, my child. Like I said, y'all see what it is. Y'all see exactly what it is. And I thank each and every one that did go and vote for me. I appreciate it and I love you guys so, so, brr, so, brr, so much. Brr. <laughs> and I love you guys. I'm sitting here trying to hold back my tears because when I cry, y'all cannot understand me. Y'all really can't understand me now because I got that Ebonics language. You know, you did. If you know, you know. But still, you guys, I am so thankful. I am so grateful. I am so blessed that I am in a position closer to accomplish accomplishments. <laughs> to accomplish. See, told you I can't talk, y'all. What's wrong with me? <laughs> to, to complete something that I seeked out for and did not know I was going to get accepted into 
disposition and then not knowing that I was going to not get accepted, I got accepted. And now I am in fifth place. Come on, come on, God. Come through. I just want to sit here and just, just show you guys that the accomplishments that I'm trying to strive for. Even through all the, like I said, through the fog and the toxic and all the, you know, other stuff that's going on. This is a happy moment for me. I am so happy and so proud and so thankful that this opportunity was given to me and put me in fifth place. Because, like I said, there's like thousands of people in uh, my category that have showed up and showed out. But I'm in the top five. I am in the top five. So, again, thank everyone that did showed up for me and voted for me and I'm going to say it again um, those who do wish to participate in the voting all proceeds will go towards JED Foundation for Mental Health Awareness because what I'm going through in the situation what I'm going through with my job is um, very heavy on my mental health it's very depressing because you using my husband to try to taunt me. You're using my husband to get to me. Because this person is toxic. This person is lonely. This person is jealous of someone else's foundation. Their union. And I don't know too many women that will sit here and say, oh, it's okay. It's okay. You can talk about about my relationship to me about my husband and that I can't do my job because I'm trying to watch you two what you trying to apply what what are you applying I can't do my job because I'm worried about what you and my husband doing what are you applying and if you know you know if you don't you don't don't you think when someone says it to your face that they're applying that they're doing something with your husband or sneaking doing something with your husband that would have gets to me. That would have sound like to me. That you're trying to apply something to trigger me. To get a response and an action out of me. Hello somebody. Hello somebody. Is that is that what I just said? When once someone says to you that you cannot do your job performance because you trying to see what your husband and the coworkers doing. Is they trying to apply to something? They're looking for a response, a reaction. And then when you give it to them, they're going to play victim? That's very toxic. That's a karmic behavior. That's jealousy behavior. And then when you respond to someone saying that to you, what do you suppose to expect? You plan. You can't plan people marriages and not think for a second that you're not gonna get the response that you think that you deserved. Oh, that you say something about someone's marriage and they're supposed to be calm, cool, and collected with you. No, no, no. That's not how it works, baby girl. But I'm glad I didn't get physical. I'm so glad I didn't get physical because I'm not that person anymore. I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm not a child. And that person was very childish. That person was very envy. That person was very jealous. But look at me. I'm in fifth place. I did something that was going to put me in a better position than where I am before. Maybe that job was not for me. Maybe what happened happened for a reason. Because if I was still being working in that situation and that person kept on taunting me and harassing me, 
maybe it would have got out of hand and I was not able to control the situation because that person came to work being envy, being messy, being jealous, being a hateful, conniving person. And things probably would have got out of hand. So maybe that's why things are on hold for this moment because it was not meant for me to work in that workplace due to that toxic karmic person. I don't know. Only God do. Only God knows. But, hey, I am so, so, I am so, so happy. Because it's what this person is. Yeah. Put it in the microwave. Wait, this is what? Hold on. You get some water. You put it in a bowl. You mix it up. You throw it in the microwave. Bing! Dot pocket. Say it again. You get some water. You put it in a bowl. You mix it up. Throw it in the microwave. And bing! Dot pocket. That's what that person is. A dot pocket. But I'm trying to, I am, I'm not going to sit here and lie. I am very, very disappointed and very, very mad at this person. Because I thought that we was trying to build something better as a friendship inside of the workplace. But I just see in the background, you was just being an envious, jealous, hateful person. But God see you, girl. He see you. And you going to do this to another person. And they response ain't going to be like mine's. I just talk to you. They response might be something worse. Because doing the whole work experience. You came at a few people. A few people. And I was just observing. And then when you finally got rid of them. You came. You focus your attention on me. But the person that you got was a new and rebuilt person. Because if I was still that person back back then, back then, back then, it would have been very different. Very different. But I'm trying to work on myself, become a better person for my brand. A better person just to be around in my space that positive energy not that negative toxic karmic ass behavior you're down near 40 but you act like a high school kid and so I'm I didn't need that type of energy in my space very nasty very vile it's disappointing that you are a person God wasted his time creating you very disappointing very disappointing but hey you keep going the way that you're going baby girl you gonna have problems, and you you use and you use your position as a supervisor to throw the to throw around your authorities. That ain't gonna work all the time because you gonna wind up being in the legal system because it's with supervisor you want to throw around your authorities. Oh, I'm the supervisor. I can do this, and I can say that. That's what you said a few times. But hey, I put it like this because of this news that I'm sharing with y'all. Maybe it's a reason that I'm on hold right now so I can calm myself down, gather my thoughts, my, and gather what I'm going to go forth with. That's what I think. Maybe it's a reason that I'm put on hold right now so I can focus on other things around me that are good things, that's good energy, good vibration, like what I'm showing y'all now. That your girl is in fifth place in her group. Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You see, y'all see what it is. Hey, keep it in mind. It'll get greater later. Because, um, 
I ain't worried about Josephine. My life is a natural high, so come in bunny hot with me. Yay! Good bunny hot. Come on, come on. I do the bunny hot. Whoa, whoa. Ah, 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 da, da. Da, 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 da. I'm so glad I got my own. I ain't worried about Josephine. My life is a natural high, so come in bunny hot with me. Yay, 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 yay. And then I was listening to this one song. It gets me all the time. It's called Open Up My Heart by Yolanda Adams. Because I don't know what to do. Now what if I choose the wrong thing to do? I feel so lost. Or I feel ashamed of disappointing you. So I need to talk to you. And ask you for your guidance Especially today When my life is so cloudy Got me until I'm sure That's why I open up my heart (laughs) Oh yeah, yes I do So show me how to do things your way Don't let me make the same mistakes Over and over again You will rejoice And I'll be the one To make sure, to make sure it's carried out And in me, I don't need any doubts That's why I, 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 I open up my heart and ask God for my guidance, especially today, when my life is so cloudy, got me until I'm sure. <laughs> because I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> so, I'm going to end this live right now. I just wanted to show up and show out and share with House of Queens City, my kings and my queens. Like I said, and like I'm going to continue to say, love yourself and love who you're with and love who loves you. God loves you and God sees everything. He sees everything. And keep your space with a clear and focus and people that be around you if it's not for the good X their ass out it don't matter who they are um, it don't matter who you are and like I said on my channel I talk about a lot of things and different things and I'm not a motivator speaker I'm not a teacher I'm not a um, counselor and no sort. I just talk to you guys about my life experience, what I have been through, and and um, gain from it. Because I do talk my shit sometimes. I really do. But if you can take anything from what I what I say, and pro- and provide it to your life, and it will help you. I appreciate it. I really do. Because, like I said, my past have molded me to become the woman that I am today. And it's all because of God. My past have molded me to the woman that I am today. And I won't let my past define the person that I am today. It's, oh God, I love him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because if I did not know that man, my life would be in so shambles. I mean, I would be so lost. I would be so, so lost. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let me get up off here before I start shouting. Because I can feel, I can feel it. I can feel the presence of 
the angels, this, I mean, I got goosebumps right now. If I can show you guys, I got goosebumps right now because I'm talking about my Lord, how much I love him and how much he has molded my life and he has guided me onto the right spaces. Even though you got devil and karmic and toxic people that come in and out your life trying to, do, to disrupt what you're trying to do and what you're trying to strive to be, they're going to try to knock you off your stumping blocks. And sometimes I let that energy come into my space and I don't recognize at the time that they're here to disrupt me. Because I have a mouth on me. And once I'm there, it's hard to take it down. And um, the people that know that plays on it. And I got to be strong enough, wise enough to notice it when it happened. But when it gets there, it's, it, it's there. So House of Queens TV, thank you for showing up for me. Thank you guys for viewing my content. I love you guys all and thank you guys for voting for me. Like I said again, that... When you do decide to purchase a vote, the proceeds will go to the Jed Foundation for Mental Health Awareness. Again, I'm going to say the proceeds go to Jed Foundation for Mental Health Awareness. Thank you to Orbit. Yes, this is the um, site where you go to for all type of contests. So, if you guys just don't want to be into Influence Me TV, television show, um, or just, they have different type of contests that you can enter yourself into. So, just go ahead and go to Orbit.com and go over all the things that they got that you can enter into being but like I said I'm trying to be on influence me TV that is the um, organization that I'm trying to be a part of and so this is orbit is the way you can go participate in two different contests so they're partnershiping with orbit for influence TV TV and also with the Jed Foundation so those three um, companies right there are in partnership together for us to come together to participate in this TV show. So we have Influence Me TV. It's the television show. We have Jet Foundation. is a partnership for mental health awareness. Also, we have Orbit. is where you go to participate, to get votes, to be better than what you are now. So thank my babies. Thank you, my babies. Thank you, my king. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, my queens. Yeah. I love I ya. I love I ya. I love I ah Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I can't do it. I can't do it. But I love y'all so much, and I am so happy I got this big old cool lace out of my face, and I don't know what to do with it because I don't got this look. I just going on y'all, and so yes. I don't y'all understand what I said, but I don't say I say either, but it's okay. It's all right. I'm gonna make it anyway. <laughs> but you guys, not, I just thank y'all so much. I just can't. I mean, I just I can't. I can't. You know, I'm in fifth place, and I mean, come on, now. Huh? Come on. That ain't nothing but God. That's nothing but God. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so, so much. And I love all you guys. So, I'm going to leave it in the description box again for you guys to continue to vote. Right now, we are in round four of the competition. So, if you guys do want to vote for your girl, I am going to leave that in the description box. And I'm also going to put it in the comment section. And like I said, all the proceeds will go towards the Jed Foundation for Mental Health Awareness. Again... If you would like to purchase a vote, I will leave everything in the description box. And also, I will leave it in the comment section. For those who will purchase a vote, the proceeds will go to the Jed Foundation for Mental Health Awareness. And I want to thank Influence Me TV for giving your girl an opportunity to better herself as a person. Thank you. Influence Me TV. And also thank you, Orbit, for giving me the opportunity as well. This is your girl.
Queen of Three One Eight Red Resurrected Diva House of Queen C D and we is out this burp. We are this burp. This is out B I N G and Red is her name. Yo. Love yourself and love who you and love who love you. And I got to go. I just brr. Be a brr. Be a brr. Be a brr. Bye, you guys. Keep it in mind. It'll get greater later.